I'm going to show you how you can set up the update existing records with Airtable Forms extension that is by mini extensions. Um, I've done a first video where I, I go through the entire exp extension. You want to watch that if you're not familiar with it. But um, if you're trying to set up this extension, this is a video to walk you through step by step how to do that. So I've made an example table here. This table just has two rows, and I want to be able to edit these rows with an Airtable form. This is the extension you would see when you buy it. Um, start by follow this blue URL, fill in your API key. Next, your base ID. I'm going to follow this URL over here. And I'm going to walk through every single step here. So this might you know, take a bit. But go over here, drop this thing in here, table ID. I can find this thing in this URL here. And then I copy it over, drop it in here. Next is a record to update. This is a new Airtable field that the extension will use to decide exactly how to update the records with the form. I've gone through more depth in my other video explaining how this works, but for now I'm just going to create it and show you how to do it. But if you're more interested to why we need it, use the other video. So I'm going to create a new record here. I'm going to give it a single line text, and I'm going to name it this thing, record to update. I'm going to hit save. Then I'm going to take this name and I'm going to add it here. Next, the Airtable form URL. I'm going to go over here, click over here. Um, I have an existing form, I guess, but I'll just create a new one. This is a new form. And I'm going to grab this URL right here. And I will drop it in here. Cool. Next, percent fields and duration fields. So if I go over here, um, if you have any fields that have the duration type or the percent type grab their names and then add their names in here in those two areas last thing here is the final redirect url if you want to if you want your users to be redirect, redirected to some custom url after they're done editing drop that url in here and then we'll hit next okay now one last thing here will pop up airtable fields and form this is extremely important this is this lets us know what fields you have in your form so in my case, pretty much what you always want to do is come into the form and you want to make sure that everything that shows up here is shown here. So for example, right now I'm seeing name, status, notes, record to update. Um, you can skip the record to the update. You don't have to the record to the update here, but anything else you can you have to add here. So if you notice here, I am missing one field. I am missing notes, right? So we couldn't import all of the fields automatically. The reason why that is, is if you go here, notes is completely empty. Airtable does not let us know about any no, any um, fields that are completely empty. So just come in here manually and make sure you have all the fields that you'd like. So in my case, I'm going to grab notes from here and then drop it in here. Click here, click save again. So just in general, just make sure you've got all the names here, case sensitive, etc. Just make sure everything here looks correct. All right. Next step, I'm going to click on this little settings icon, and then I'm going to do two more things. I'm going to grab a formula. I'll grab this formula right here, and I'm going to create a new field, and I'm going to call it editor URL. And it's going to be a formula, and I'm going to add this formula here, and then I'm going to hit save. Cool. Then the last thing here is the redirect URL. I'm going to grab this, and this is for the form. And this is why this extension in particular requires a prior table account. So anyways, uh, select your form, click redirect to URL after the form submitted, and drop that redirect URL in here, hit save. Cool, so let's go to the grid view now. Now let's try using this. So I click on this URL, it opens up the record, everything is pre-filled correctly. Like you, like you see here, the record to update. I've mentioned this in the other video, but so record to update is required, and it's unfortunate, but we just have to have it. Um, one thing I've recommended to people is that just add here, say like, uh, please do not change this or something so that your users don't change it. So if I add this here, um, if I reload this, the, yeah, so you see, please don't change this, add it here. Um, so let's just do, I guess, done here and remove the to do, and my, let's just do whatever, and then I'm gonna hit submit. So we'll get, Done with this, we get redirected. And this will take a second here. Cool. All right, sweet. 
record updated, please close this page now. And if you had a redirect custom URL, this wouldn't be shown. And all would ha all that would happen is your users would be immediately taken to that page. I'm going to come back here. I'll go to my table. And nice. This is the change that I made.